If you think about smaller organizations, are there any, either any differences or anything that they need to consider or anything that small organizations need to know when it comes to internal communication? So there's a blog post, you'll be surprised to hear. <laughs> so I wrote a blog post on what startups need to know about internal communication, because you're, you're absolutely right. It's, it's really important as your company scales, as you have more people, therefore your culture scales and therefore your communication needs to scale too. So it's really important that you'll get to a point if you are growing a business, if you get to the point where you don't know who everybody is and you haven't got processes written down, then if you're analyzing the way that the organization is working, I guarantee one of the top three problems will be communication or lack of. And the reason for that is when you don't have consistency in place, where you don't have all employee meetings in place, whether you're a team of two or a team of 200, it's really important that you start to communicate really, really well. And the reason for that is that you're having sources of truth and you're helping your employees know where to go to get credible, accurate, reliable information, but also having an opportunity to challenge, to ask questions, to see leaders face to face and to help them understand what they're part of. That's back to that shared understanding and shared meaning I talked about right at the start. So it's super important. No organization is too big or too small to implement internal communication. When startups invest in internal communication, it's normally because they've got to a point where maybe they're scaling even more or they're getting funding or they're going for initial public offering, IPO, and then they suddenly need to have systems and processes in place for communication. So it's never too early to start investing in good, effective internal communication. Mm -hmm.